Hey everyone, my name's Holly, if you're new here. If not, I'm glad you could join me again. Um, so I'm gonna name this the toy series. I have a few other videos about toys and I probably plan to do quite a few more in the future as I love toys. I'm a mom to two littles. Um, I'm an early years educator, currently on a break because I am staying at home, being a stay at home mum with my littles because they're, they're little and I just want to pass some time with them. Plus I want to make sure I find the right job in the future, a job that I am going to enjoy but also have the balance of being my little ones too because we know it is difficult looking after little ones and looking after yourself and then having to work on top of that. But anyway, I'm going to share some videos on this channel of things that I enjoy. I love motherhood, I love early years and I love toys and books. So today's video is going to be about Grimm's Wooden Toys. You probably noticed that from the title of this video. I love Grimm's Wooden Toys um, and I just wanted to explain to you about Grimm's Wooden Toys. So you may have heard of them, you may not have heard of them, you may have a few of these toys in your house, but I thought I would share just a little bit more information about these toys. I'm going to make this into two parts because um, I want to show you the Grimm's toys that we have, the collections we have, and maybe some of the ones that I hope to acquire in the future. So I'm going to start this one with a bit of information about Grimm's toys. So Grimm's wooden toys, who are they? When did they start? Where are they based? So this, fa this is a family run company, which I think is really nice. I love supporting small businesses. I love supporting families that own a business. So they were started in 1978. Hey everyone, so this is Future Me. I am popping up in this Gribs video. So I'm kind of a perfectionist and I like things to be perfect. And I wanted to add this in because someone very lovely gave me this feedback. Um, um, partly on an error of my fault and partly because um, she had more information. Um, so Grimm's Toys, going back to who actually owned the company. So the Heist family didn't take it over in 2006. The Grimm's family took it over in 2006. So it was originally started by Peter and Klaus Heist um, and they started the business in 1978. Um, one of the brothers, so these are two brothers, the, one of the brothers originally ran the business and the other brother designed and made all the toys. Then it was later changed again, the name was changed to Spill and Hoz, I hope I'm saying that correctly. And then in 2006 it was taken over by Elki and Spin Grimms and that's how it came to be known as Grimms Toys now. So I hope um, that information has cleared up any errors that I uh, made and I'm going to take you back to the video. I also asked um, on their Instagram, I messaged them because I wanted to know what their very first toy was because that was information I just couldn't find anywhere. This lovely lady called Lisa uh, messaged me and said they weren't sure and that it was taken over in 2006 by the by the Grimm's family. I'm just changing my era. Back to the video. Um, so that's why they couldn't be sure which was their first toy that was ever made. So the toys that were made when this, when the Heist family took over was Otto the Elephant, the four elements, which is earth, water, air, and air, water, earth. Oh, what is the last one? Air, water, earth, fire sorry so that was um so I've, I've just named it to you it took me long enough so it's air earth fire and water and they also have the medium rainbow which we actually have actually i love the rainbow it's one of the most iconic um toys from Grimm's. you quite often see it in the 12 piece but we only have the six piece in medium i love this i would love to have a 12 piece rainbow but they retail about 60 euros so at the moment that is out of our price range i'm hoping in the future i will acquire it mm, i would love it for the for my little ones but they may be too old when i'll be able to afford for a uh, big one so it may end, end up coming down to me but anyway so yeah the this is the medium one so those were the first Per se, they could have been the first toys that were ever made by Grimm's family. Um, when you do look for information, it does say either stacking toy or some blocks were the first toy they made. But as they follow the the world of education, which is known as Steiner, um, the rainbow kind of started from there. So maybe that was their, their first toy as that's the sort of educational background they have. Um, and that's what they base their toys off. Who knows? Well, no, no one will probably ever know 
um, who, what the first toy was, but at least we have an idea what could have been the first toys. So yeah, that's about the company. It is based in Germany in the Swabian Alps. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, Southwest Germany. Um, they have two factories, one in Germany and one in Bosnia. Now, they do this because in Bosnia is where they source sustainable wood and to make these toys more sustainable, they decided to have a factory in Bosnia so they don't have to be delivering the wood from Bosnia to Germany. Because of course that just changes the sustainable side of things and just makes it a little less sustainable. So they make a high percentage in Bosnia and they make a little percentage in Germany. But that doesn't make a difference in the toys. Um, they So their primary, primary aim is to make toys that are sustainable. So they are long life, they go through generations to generations um, and they last a long time and wood is very good and very well known for that. They pride themselves on making high-end, high-quality toys. Yes, they cost a little, but I feel that what you pay for these toys um, is definitely what they are worth, 100%. I, I cannot deny that. Um, I love the fact that they're, they're, they have a good sustainable outlook. So... Did you know that 100% of their energy that they use in their factories is 100% green? 50% 50 of, uh, 50 of that is um, solar powers that they have in their factories and 50% of that is green energy, which I think is absolutely fa fabulous. I really like looking for toys that just have this like small value, small family value. I love that they have sustainable and I also love they look after their workers. So not only that, you're paying for these toys because you're paying this sort of amount for the toys because they look after the workers. They offer their work workers a job security. They give them extra social care. They give them a fair wage. They're just, they're just all around fair with their workers. And I think that's, that's amazing. Like for me, that is really, really important. They don't, like nowadays, a lot of us are more aware that there is child labor and things that are made. I'm not gonna say that 100% everything I do is the right thing. It doesn't mean I always pick up the right toys, but I do like to know that I have some toys that I can trust and that I know come from really great places. That's just a little bit of uh, information about Grimm's, Grimm's um, wooden toys. Now I'm gonna introduce you to the three top toys that Grimm's make. I could do five, I could have done 10, but I thought three, it's just a great number. It just gives you first, second and third, um, and then you can go from there. So number one is their large step pyramid. The large step pyramid is amazing. I love the bricks in this one. Um, we don't have this one. This has a really big price tag. Um, it's like 160 or 180 euros, more or less. I'm not 100% sure, sure. I can't remember when I last looked, that may have gone up with inflation. Um, I think it's definitely worth the money um, and the people that have bought it love it, absolutely. Think the quality, of course, the quality is amazing in these toys. And I believe it, you can have it from zero. If not, and there is like smaller blocks, you can actually take the smaller blocks out and just have the big blocks and it would make it perfect from zero, zero plus. Um, the second toy, toy number two, is the 1001 Knights. Um, a lot of people like to pair this with the large step pyramid because of the curved um, pieces it has in it. Um, it just seems to complete the large step pyramid. I don't have that one either. I don't know if I'm interested so much in that one. Um, maybe one day, but no, um, I try to limit myself and try to find the ones that I think are going to be more versatile and more... I'm not saying that because all their toys are versatile, but um, I'm just trying to find the ones that I think I'm going to get more use in my house. And then last but not least, number three, the third toy that is very popular is, of course, this rainbow. It's iconic. Iconic for Grimm's. Um, they, so this one comes in small, medium, and large. This is the medium, so you can get a kind of a gist. You can see it's quite big. You can do a lot with this one. Um, I love the 12 piece. I would love to get the 12 piece one day, but that has, as I said, that has a retail of like 60 euros. So that's still out of a plus budget. I'm trying to put money back and hopefully one day I will acquire that one. And they also have a giant one. Now you're probably thinking, that's just crazy. I think it's a good one for having in nurseries or just if you, 
if you have a bit of extra money to spend on the really big one because that can be i think that one meter is about 600 euro but it is beautiful i've got to admit the rainbow is beautiful but i think you'll be adequate if you just bought the medium one which retails at i pay 24 euros for our one um so yeah this one's a bit more affordable and you can just do them near enough the same as what you can do with the 12 piece rainbow i probably wouldn't go for the small one unless you just want a little like a little one for decoration which quite a lot of people do because they love the rainbows um so yeah that was the three top toys from grim now why do i choose these toys i just choose these toys because they're high quality high end i love that they're wooden i love that they're non-toxic i love that they're gonna last a long long time and if they do get broken grims do offer a repair little repair kit that they can send out to you or you can just use wooden wooden glue um glue that is for wooden glue you can use glue that's for wood and that will work fine too um, I love that they offer a fair wage and they treat their employees really well. And not only that, they treat their customers and the stockists that stock their toys super. And I think that's really a good quality to have in a company. And I just, I love that they're, they're staying sustainable and I love that they're just not for children, they're for, they can be for adults too. So I hope you enjoyed this video about Grimswood and Toys. Um, I hope it's given you a little bit more information. Maybe give me a comment if there's something you want to know or or there's something you can add add to this video. It would be awesome. And I hope to see you in part two. Bye.